Hi, I'm Dan. I'm, I'm having a bad hair day. Um, thanks for checking in on DimGuard. Special thanks to the folks who are patrons on the Patreon and who are backers in Kickstarter. I'm going to try to knock out um, some of these questions. Uh, hopefully I'll get one a day in there. I'm going to try to make them succinct. Uh, this one comes from Scott via Facebook. right? Um, and he said, asked, what would you say is your favorite non-main story? Uh, and I'm not real sure exactly what he means by non-main story. So I, I, I'm presuming that he means, um, all right, so within the suite of Dim Guard Adventures, we have, um, we have different types, right? So we, 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 we have um, the 21 chapter ones, which, which um, we've kind of settled on as our default um, you know, that goes from 1st to 21st. It does it at a pace that is reasonable. Um, and um, it, uh, it, can, it can attach some standalone um, modules along the way, which, which we try to do, you know, every, every, every offering now, we, we have a standalone module that ends up going out to the Patreon backers. Um, uh, and then, but historically, we've had these eight episode, um, very fast paced. And then we have the very long 86 episode um, Dim Guard adventure, and that include their Dim Guard campaign. And that even included some additional supplemental standalones along the way. Um, but within that 86 episodes, there were um, like little story arcs, right? Like three ep three chapters, sometimes as long as six or eight um, within that. All right. So asking which of those is my favorite is kind of like asking, um, you know, a grandparent or even a, a parent, who's your favorite kid, right? Uh, each one was a pain to give birth to. Uh, but a joy once it once it arrived. <clears throat> but with that caveat, um, there is a very little noted, right? Like 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 it doesn't come up much in discussions when I talk to people. But that but it's called the Pit of Karen, and it was a standalone, right? It, it, it was so. What what happened there was I had a three chapter adventure, and and as part of that. That long-running campaign, right? I was very tightly tracking XP, and um, so I had I needed I needed a chapter to get the PCs to the next level, a singles chapter, and I didn't want to start a new storyline just right before I I done that with um, the Red Blades War, and that was awkward. So as a standalone, I, I wrote this uh, Pit of Karen, and I. I can I can sum it up uh, very succinctly. Um, PC swinging on ropes, fighting monkeys. Um, so yeah, it was it was it was great, um, great 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 fun. Yeah, and then the the um, the uh, the completely um, primitive priest. Who intercedes attacks um, with cats? <laughs> yeah, it was a good one. So, so that, that's definitely one that I really enjoy. Like whenever I look back across the the panoply of of um, Bimgard adventures, um, that one was really fun to, to run. Not it wasn't. It was curiously not that interesting to develop. It was it was a pretty straightforward. Um, Karen's not a complicated um, villain. Now, speaking of complicated villains, I would say that outside of combat, right? Because so that one was very common. If you want to look more at um, the machinations that are involved, um, then I would have to say um, that the the um, the module. It was actually the final episode in 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 like a two or three campaign. Or two or three story arc um, called Regime Change, DG20. Um, 
and what what those were is you, you first get to Odile, and there's just a series of kind of of standalone um, modules that are all related. Um, the idea behind this one was the PCs were going to um, get rid of this evil um, prince, and idea and and so the, you have the evil prince, and you have the evil prince's son, and um, and uh, and then you have the second son, and as is, as was the tradition in, amongst nobility, um, the second son was uh, was was not a noble track. He was he was almost always a military. We we even see that today, right? If you look at um, uh, at the at the British royal family, right? The the second son uh, who has is expected to have a career in the military um, while the oldest one is groomed or daughter now but but the oldest oldest um, is groomed to to take the crown um, and that tradition goes back all the way to pre-feudal times in Europe. right so anyway um, so the PCs are like well we don't like the Sun either right the, the Sun the crown prince is a debauch evil entity himself uh, but the but the the second son, the one who is is the, the military guy, right? He's this noble paladin esque type uh, figure who is running the town watch effectively, and you know has established security where, where and and runs a real tight ship is has rooted out corruption. Like that's the guy we want to be prince, right? And at the time, I was I was play testing these personally. With three different groups, um, so um, I, I ran that that same adventure three different times, and there's a big reveal at the end, um, and I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is, um, but I will say that uh, integral into the plot, um, the only way that that the PCs are able to gain the access they need to the royal family, as well as the resources they need to accomplish. Um, the successful coup um, is with the help of followers of Asmodeus, right? So there's a big reveal at the end, um, and uh, I I was amazed. I, I guess I, I guess I play a really deceptive um, follower of Asmodeus um, because of the three groups, all of whom were very experienced players, very shrewd players, right? And even if you're going to stay in character, right? You're like, well, I don't I know that my Character would believe this guy, this follower of Asmodeus. So, so that's what I'm gonna do with my character. But you, many times the players will not be fooled. But in all three cases, we had 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 parties of, of um, five, five, and six. So a total of sixteen experienced players. The reveal fooled fool them all, and it's a pretty hefty reveal too. Um, and it had consequences for years to come in Odile. Um, it would be a year before. Um, the uh, the things that the, the Asmodeans were able to set in motion were rectified by by the players eventually. Um, so yeah, so that was a very entertaining um, from a from a uh, plot twist standpoint um, would would be regime regime change. And um, if you're going to run one. Uh, Dim Guard Adventure out of that suite, that would be the one I would suggest because um, it, it is such a sweet reveal and um, and and I, I I enjoyed it so thoroughly. All right, so um, so I do appreciate the questions. If anybody has any further questions, uh, just like Scott did, you can get them to me on Facebook. Um, or um, I'm active in a variety of channels um, uh, or, you know, email, uh, Twitter, um, even Reddit. I've, I've, I will, I've gotten a couple of questions on Reddit that I will be answering. Um, thanks a lot, Scott. And thank, again, a special thanks to all the Patreon backers, our Patreon patrons and backers on Kickstarter.